Today I'm going to talk about Struck by Lightning by Chris Culver. With a special guest! I read this book in January and then I let this one borrow it and wanted to finish it. About two days after you gave it to me. Actually, I mean, I did, January. I finished, yeah, I finished it like right when you gave it to me. So we don't remember a whole lot, apparently. I remember. Oh, okay. Then, Struck by Lightning is about a kid who feels like he is the outcast of the school because he thinks he's better than everyone else, and he just wants to get out of his little town. Where was it? Was in the south, wasn't it? Yeah, because it not only gave a specific region, but it's he was... Cloverfield or it something. Was, it was south enough that Gainus would have been greatly frowned upon. He wants to get out of his little southern town because he hates everyone in it. And so he decides that to get into his fancy, fancy college he wants to go to, he needs several he, things. He needs a literary journal and... Yeah, he... he was, he was he was he was working to get pro, uh, early acceptance. He wanted early acceptance. See, like I think the entire literary journal thing was ridiculous in the first place because, like, I guess I don't know. I've never applied to like Harvard or anything like that. But he he wasn't even applying to I, Harvard. He was put, yeah, I feel like he went to Northwestern. I feel like he was going just way above and beyond, just what he needed to get into his college. So he's just this kid who he likes to write. He likes to be better than other people. And so, to get the literary journal he thinks he needs to get early acceptance into his fancy, fancy college, he decides to blackmail all of the students, basically, to make them write into this literary literary journal that they all think is really stupid. I think it's a little just non-realistic to have a school, even of just a couple hundred people, with only one guy liking to actually write. I don't know, like, I tried, I actually, one of my pros for this book, one of the reasons that I kept reading it and thought it was actually kind of decent, was the fact that I relate to the main character in some way, because I tried to start a writing club in my school, and it did not take off at all. The only thing good about this book is the fact that Chris Colfer wrote it in such a entertaining, sassy voice, which also can be a con, because he's whiny and self-centered and uh, he doesn't write like you'd think an uh, angry teenager would write like he writes like a sassy gay 22 year old yeah carson phillips is basically the worst human to walk the planet in my eyes he's relatable in some ways but he's also the worst he makes fun of absolutely everyone even though he's the outcast himself He's the kind of person that takes their computer and goes into Starbucks and writes publicly while everyone else is just lesser than him. He's that guy. You all know it. He has to be seen writing. My main problem with this book and the douchey main character is that he doesn't get on douchey. He blackmails his school. He gets into the college he wanted to get into. He didn't go to that college for a reason I'm not going to tell you guys. And then... As the movie has been telling you on the commercials, he gets struck by lightning, as the title suggests, and he dies. I feel like I, I don't like, like the characters other than him mm -hmm. were all ridiculously downplayed and made to look exactly. like way stupider than they would actually be. Yeah, like one of my notes. Where does it say that? Uh, side the side characters were not creative. They're the only thing that I think would have saved this book is if they had a cast of zany characters that weren't just the football player, the cheerleader, the yeah, that, that's exactly atypical, what it was. that's the... He had the, he had the social outcast who he befriended, he had the douchebag football player, the theater guy who was surprisingly gay. <laughs> what? Stereotypes? Chris Colfer knows nothing about stereotypes being on Glee. The problem I had with the side characters was, of course, Mallory. And it made me hate Chris Cole for just a tiny bit. Just downplayed my love for him. Just so. Mallory was the friend, right? Why Mallory was the... Um, because, once again, the fat friend is the punchline of every joke. 
Did it she? Was that? Oh yes, she is very pudgy in this book. And then they have um, Rebel just... Wilson play her in the movie. I thought she was just who's that? Um, Fatty. Oh. This book is like reading a prose version of Tumblr. If you take away all the gifs and cats and attractive people, <laughs> he just in the middle of a sentence he goes into all caps, kind of like we a Tumblr does. He's like. This is off topic, but I want you to do something for me. Put a picture of high school students roaming the yards during PE and a picture of inmates roaming the yard at a prison together. Look between the two. See the difference? No, because there is none! If this didn't have a super, super terrible main character who does not learn his lesson, stop it. I, I would like this book a lot more. I like the plotline of him kind of blackmailing his students to write. Like... You better write me a story for my literary journal, or I'm gonna spill all your dirty secrets. Like that that's a that's a good plot. If he had then learned from blackmailing people that that's not a nice thing to do, that he Yeah, that would make I would that would make the ending a lot better in his death much less much more regrettable. Yeah, if he even thought for an instant that oh, maybe I shouldn't have blackmailed them. Yeah, uh, his his ending was oh hey, I just have to try hard to get in Northwestern next yeah. year. Well, I'd say two or three stars. Three to three stars? Yeah. And you liked the book. I, I gave it three stars and I am kind of infuriated by this book. Okay. Bye. Yeah. You stay quiet. <laughs> what are you... This was a horrible idea. <laughs> <laughs>